Hello, in this video I am going to install Raspbian OS on Raspberry Pi 3 model B and I have an SD card of 32 GB size. So let's download the Raspbian image from raspberry, raspberrypi.org site. Click on Downloads. Here we have on the Downloads URL, we have multiple options available. Like if you are using it for the first time, then it is recommended to use Loops. New out of the box software, an easy operating system installer for beginners. Other option we have Raspbian, the official supported Raspberry Pi operating system based on Debian. Further, we have Raspberry Pi desktop for PC and Mac. So, it is a full fledged desktop available for PC and Mac. Besides that, there are few three third-party operating systems like, like Ubuntu Mate, Snappy Ubuntu Core, Windows 10 IoT, OSMC, and all. <coughs> so this OSMC is quite interesting if you want to have a media center, open source media center. It works nicely with the uh, with the new newer version of TVs, televisions. It it is also it it also detects all the I mean most of the remote controls. I tried it once and it was working fine with the older model of uh, television. It, I was able to operate using remote control of TV without much changes or without much effort it was quite simple so this osmc is basically open source media center it is quite good you can have a try on this apart from that some of more options third party operating systems image available like pinet lib lib elc <coughs> and this weather station risk os and all linux distribution and all so let's move ahead with the raspbian installation if you uh, uh, if you want to use raspberry pi as a server then in that case it is recommended to use light version and if you want to use Raspberry Pi as your workstation with graphical interface then you can install you can download Raspbian Stretch with desktop so I, I don't want to use a desktop Raspberry Pi as a desktop <coughs> However, I want to use it as a server, so I will uh, download Raspbian Stretch Lite version. Download from torrent is available as well as zip file is available. I have it already downloaded a while ago before recording this video. So let's go to the terminal. Here it is. Let's 
let's verify it as such a sum value. This value should match with this uh, as such a two five six, which is mentioned on Raspberry Pi dot org. It will prove its my downloads integrity. So here it is three two seven. Yes, it is matching fine. So we can. So we are good to go with the installation. This image is properly downloaded without any missing on missing bits or any basically it is reliable whenever we download something from the internet we, we should always check relevant such a keys for the integrity of the download to avoid to make sure that the downloaded file is intact now let's uncompress this zip file. While it is inflating, let's also open HR. I will be using HR software to burn this image, Raspbian, Raspbian image. So I'm just going to plug in my SD card and also open HR software to burn this downloaded image. It is still inflating here. Click on select image. Downloads. Yes. As you can see in background, it is complete. Uncompressing inflation of the zip file of image. And here, this is our image file. Now, let's burn this. So, this is my SD card. Let's flash it. Fourteen percent, fifteen percent. So once it is flashed, once it, our images, Raspbian images, flash to the SD card, we can use it with the Raspberry Pi to boot. So it should take. It should not take much time about one minute remaining let's have a look on other things in the meantime If you want to have a look on documentation, then nice document is a, documentation is available on raspberrypi.org. Like setup, quick start, how to do the installation, user's guide, configuration, 
remote access Linux, Raspbian, hardware, etc. <coughs> For example, installation. If you are facing an issue during installation, you can refer to this documentation. Let's see the current status of our SD card flashing. So right now validation is going on. It is an open source project by resin.io. You can download it from resin.io website. It should be available for Windows as well as Linux also. Alright, flash is complete. Now we can close this window and close the browser. Close the terminal. So, as the flashing of that SD card is complete, I will be using particular SD card with Raspberry Pi. So, it should take IP address from the DSCP. So, I will be creating another uh, video. Uh, to convert my Raspberry Pi as a ad blocker, network network level ad blocker. We have one more project called called Pi Hole. That that is the one which I will be installing on this Raspberry Pi to block all the advertisements for my network, my home network. 